Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually get some filtered results for when you actually search. So we are going to start this off just by adding some things at the top I already wrote in. Uh, we are going to add in some variables for the search function. The first is going to be a filtered array. And uh, it's just going to equal an array of strings. And that's how you initialize an empty array. Also, we want a variable called should show search results. And we're going to initialize it to false. Now we need to go down and we need to change a few things inside of our existing code. So inside of number of sections, that's still one. But in number of rows, you may notice that things are going to have to change. So we're going to say if we should show search results, then we want to return filtered array dot count. But if not, we want to return the table data dot count. So we'll just put that in there. And we don't have to worry about a return outside because that's guaranteed to work. Now inside of the cell for row at index path, we also have to do almost the exact same thing. So we can leave our cell equals table view, all that at the top. What we're going to do is decide which uh, text we want. So we'll say if should show search results, then we will do cell dot text label dot text equals the filtered array. And then same deal, index path dot row. This gets a little more complicated when you have more complicated cells, but it's in reality, no harder than this, and that's kind of why I'm showing you with such a basic example. Okay, so you'll see that it's saying we need to return a cell. The reason being is we forgot to write return here. Oh, we forgot to return cell, not write return right there. Okay, so we need to add a couple things as well. So we're going up here and we're going to go to Funks for adding search. But you will see that we have a search bar delegate called search bar search button clicked. So if the search bar search button is clicked, then we need to say should show. We want to set should show search results equals to true because if they press search, they clearly want to. And then at the end of this, we want to reload uh, the table view. So we'll say self.tableView.reloadData. So that works out there. Now we are going to add some up here. So where I wrote functions for adding search. And I'm just gonna go ahead and write in functions for adding search. So we're going to do, if you type in search bar, it'll say text did change, I'll erase that. Mine has it as the first one because I use this more often, but yours probably would be somewhere random. You're gonna to wanna to just look at search bar and have text did change as one of the parameters. And basically if the text did change, there's a few things we wanna do, but the first is we need to create our filtered array, like put the data inside of it. So we wanna say, filter array equals, and we want to take our old array and we want to filter it. And that's a pre-built um, command pretty much inside table data. As you see, this looks a little weird. That's not something people are used to seeing, but I'll walk you through it. So we're actually going to use a closure. So that is that there. And what we need to do now is kind of make it look how it said. So it wanted a parameter that returns a boolean and something else. So we want names, which are strings, in, and we want to return them. Basically, what we're returning is we're going to take names. We do not want it to be capital. It's not a class. So we will say names. Oh. It is not a type of strings. So return names, and now everything should be better. Now it's saying we have a problem with our return, which is good. That's what we wanted, actually. And we're going to say dot 
lowercase string dot range of string and then it's going to say search text which is this right here that's what the user has entered so if you're wondering where these things are coming from that's search text and we want to say dot lowercase string and what this is doing is it's making them both lowercase so whenever you search the two you, they're not case sensitive and we want to say does not equal nil so what we're saying here is that if it contains it we want to return true and if not we want to say we want to return false we don't want it to show and there's still a little bit more we need to add to this function so that was probably the harder part though the rest of it makes a little bit more sense so we want to say if the search text equals just the very beginning so if the user basically has text and backs all the way up to the beginning we don't want it to show blank the whole way we actually want it to show the original data so we will say should show search results oh we want to say if it does not equal so if it does not equal that should show search results equals true and then we want to reload the table so dot table view dot reload data otherwise if the user is backspaced all the way so if there's text and they go all the way back we want it to say false should search should show search results equals false and we want to reload the data as well And now you'll get no errors for the return or anything because there is none. So we actually should be ready to show this. Let me double check. Let's just try it out. If we run into any problems, we'll fix it. There's quite a bit to this, so really it's nothing to worry about. Like if you don't remember all of this, that's no issue. This is something that's perfectly understandable that you might have to come back to it. So let's just try fish. We want to try meat. And all of that is working completely fine. So we'll say eggs. And to show you that it's not case sensitive, we'll say veggies. Go all out. So that is how you do this. Um, the hardest part for you when you go to start doing this will probably be figuring out what to put in here. Unfortunately, there's not a good way to tell you what to put. It's kind of a good idea to kind of look at this. Uh, for instance, you if you had your own custom type, like if it was a car, you would say car and then cast it as a car, and you would return like car dot parts name dot the rest of this. The rest of this should usually stay the same if you're searching strings, which more than likely that's what you'll be searching, but you could also search like numbers and things like that. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. I plan on expanding this a little further. Uh, we will try to see maybe about like uh, when you click into a cell, how to segue over to a new cell with the previous data. So when we click this, it'll actually do things so we can go from butter actually to the file. If there's anything I could do better, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.